We turn now to campaign 2016. The four remaining Republican presidential candidates had their harshest debate yet last night as the GOP mudslinging shows no sign of coming to an end. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee it. This little guy has lied so much go. about my record. Here we go. The person he is lying. So much. Sure, it's a minor sir, civil to, case. Donald, learn not to interrupt. There are many, it's many civil cases. Count to yeah, ten, boy. Donald. Count to ten. Yeah, Count to ten. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi has been tracking all the developments in the presidential race for months. He joins us now with more. Ted, we're used to seeing a stage full of people. We were down to four people last night. Your reaction? Well, Mike, I would say Thursday was an extraordinary day in American politics. First, you had the Republican nominee from four years ago, Mitt Romney, make a brutal, blunt speech criticizing the top candidate to take over that job, who's now Donald Trump. We've never seen anything like that before. And then we had this debate where, as we just showed, the top candidate found himself uh, defending his masculinity, to put it delicately. What we're seeing is a full-scale assault by, I think, a lot of the Republican establishment to block Donald Trump from winning the nomination, and they're realizing before long it may be too late to do that. All right, so you hear that, but you hear Rubio Kasich and Ted Cruz saying they would support him if he's the nominee. That can't be sitting well with everyone. No, and you're hearing political analysts say today, Mike, that that decision at the end of the debate for all the other candidates to say they would vote for Trump if he's the nominee may have been an error strategically for them because they're trying to make the case, as are people like Mitt Romney, that Donald Trump is just totally unacceptable, that he's beyond the pale. You can't vote for him. But these candidates are now saying that uh, they're looking at the possibility of a brokered convention where the nominee isn't known when you go into the convention and is picked there. We haven't seen that since the 1940s. They're trying to keep their options open. All right, so the Democrats are watching on this. What is their reaction? Uh, they're pretty happy, as you'd imagine. They see the Republicans fighting amongst themselves, and they see their potential nominee, Hillary Clinton, firmly on track to defeat Bernie Sanders and win the nomination. But uh, the Democrats, they still have some worries of their own. The Washington Post is reporting that the FBI has granted immunity to the person who installed Hillary Clinton's controversial private email server. Obviously, if anything major comes out of that investigation, it could be a huge problem for it. It's a wild card. All right, WPRI com reporter Ted Nisi. Ted, thank you very much. And we have more campaign 2016 coverage. It's online at WPRI.com, including the latest delegate counts.